Stupid. She didn't hear me. Because I'm having like pork dig the holes and then she jumps up and she starts eating dirt, right? And she's got a healthy diet. So she starts eating the dirt. And then, and then you know what she does? She starts just dragging her body in the dirt. And then she starts doing this with her face and she's getting it all in her face, right? And she's covered in it in her face and she starts sniffing and then she starts puking. And I'm like, well, yeah, you're eating fucking dirt, bro. Like, and I'm sorry, like, I don't think dirt's bad for you. So you're going to learn. No, there's no, I actually, the dirt that I have in there is all organic, um, good type of dirt. It used to be a pork sandbox, so it's nothing that's bad for her. And I didn't put any plant fertilizer until after. But the plant fertilizer I use is also organic. Yeah, I think it's like, and because her face is smushed, it was just like, <laughs> it was like caked in there. She found dirt. It's a bad choice. Yeah. That's true. She is just exploring the world. <laughs> Bro, today, today she figured out she can hide underneath the couch for me when she does something bad and I can't fucking get her. She's smart now. I don't think Bostons are dumb, but every Boston I've ever met has been special, if that makes sense. And when I say special, I do not want people to think I mean special ed. Don't associate that with it. I say special in the sense as they're very goofy. Every Boston Territory I've ever met loves glitter and fluffy things. Like when I say fluffy things like tutus and stuff. So I kind of think they're like the like. Like, I just think they're a really special type of breed. They're they're like they love to like jump around and they're really goofy and they just do a lot of goofy things because she's like that. And today, today. She was trying to a dominate pork. So she was trying to bite him on the back of his neck to assert her dominance. So you know what I did? I was like, all right, pork, hump away. You know what? I wasn't going to let you hump her before, but you can hump away now. You got to put this bitch in the place. And if you're not going to bite her when she constantly attacks your face and bite her when she attacks your neck, then you can fucking hump her at your free will. Go for it. So... He definitely did pin her down and humped her. <laughs> He's fixed and she doesn't even, she's not even close, but she will be fixed soon. But it's just a dominant thing for him because she bites the top of his neck and she goes and she growls with aggression to try and assert dominance. And she steals his toys. And I'm like, I don't want her to become the dominant one because Porg is just like, he always allows every dog to dot like, God dog dominated him, you know, and like you, you mean this little girl's going to come in here and be top dog Borg? Like, I really want him to be top dog. Like, he deserves it. He's just so sweet and caring. He is used to a leader. Yeah. I was going to bring her to New York and I can't decide. Uh, maybe you guys can help me, but I have to get a heater because it's cold in this room. So maybe I'll maybe I'll get a heater and then I'll open the window to get some fresh in here because it smells like a toot. It smells like a toot in here. This girl, Miss Alcazar Music, she's got 6K views just playing the piano. She's been killing it all stream. I've been, I listened to it for a little bit. Um, thank you so much, Bass John, for the three months. Thanks, guys, for putting up with my, uh, you know, sometimes boring, sad mental talk. I really appreciate it. Let me grab a heater. My PC does heat up my room, actually, but this part of my house is so cold. So California doesn't really have a lot of... Um, insulation in between our walls so when it's hot it gets hot easily and when it's cold it gets cold really easily there's very minimal insulation um so this room stays really fucking cold so i do use a vpn one second i'm gonna grab a heater and then what else did i say i was gonna do i figured i'd bring my laundry in here And then I 
also brought my nail stuff in here. Woo, girl. Oh, girl. Make it rain! Thank you. So although you will miss out on a couple days with her, I think you're going for work to New York City and you shouldn't bring her, but get the first flight home. Yeah, I think I think I shouldn't bring her either because I'm watching her and Pork play all day. And then I also don't think I think Pork might feel um, that he's less special or she's special. And then also, even though I have a roadie, she'll be in the room by herself for like four to seven hours at a time. And carrying her bag, airport traveling is the worst for me. It's super painful. Um, so yeah, I should probably just leave her here. It's probably the smart decision. I just have like such a fear. I even have a fear with pork. I just like don't, I just don't want them to die. While I'm not around. Come on, big man. Come on. Come on, you can do it. This is my best boy. He is the best boy. He is the best boy ever. And he's so kind to this puppy. Even when she bites the fuck out of him. He's such a good boy. He puts up with her just fucking biting the fuck out of him. And she doesn't bite. She doesn't know that she's biting hard. Yeah, he's a good boy. Sometimes when I cry, I just grab him and I hug him because I'm crying about God Dog. And you know what's so crazy is Pork doesn't watch TV. Uh, the squirrel is sewed back together and it's alive. Pork doesn't watch TV. So it's really crazy, but I'll put God Dog's videos on my iPad. And he watches God Dog's videos with me and he cries. He makes this like, he makes this crying noise, if that makes sense. So me and him cry in remembrance together and it's sad, but also really beautiful. Right, we have such a good bond. You're my baby. I'm sorry, Anaya, but he's the favorite. 